hi everyone uh, welcome to another session uh, today uh, what we will be doing is uh, to how we can uh, load some sample data into our uh, mysql server uh, because we need to play around some data uh, and uh, uh, do some uh, work on our uh, tables and uh, how to like tables and databases so for that we need a sample data uh, so how, let me tell you how we can uh, load some mysql uh, data so this is the uh, i have copied this command from uh, the website uh, you can go there and you can copy this uh, uh, from this website uh, what i'm doing is i'm downloading this uh, from here you can copy uh, i can you can type this on your sc uh, screen or your browser or you just go to github and uh, search for a repository data charmer uh, who is data charmer he is a guy who has built uh, uh, this tool is called uh, db deployer and db deployer is used for installing multiple uh, installing any s any mysql version uh, which is the easiest way to install just few clicks clicks and you you can download uh, you can download and install that it will um, automatically download uh, and install the mysql server for you and it also uh, can configure a mysql uh, replication uh, different topologies uh, uh, semi synchronous synchronous and uh, group replication uh, replication by gtid replication by binary files and master to slave and master to master and multiple master uh, to multiple uh, slaves and uh, and like uh, one into uh, like uh, from uh, one to five slaves and like something like that and yes it can install multiple instances as well you, uh, you can install uh, like four to five or three uh, multiple instance on the same server uh, with different uh, uh, ports running on so bicycle uh, so this db deployer is a very excellent tool for, for you for the installation and for your development uh, scenarios so i will be uh, working on that soon uh, I, I know how to do that but i will be like working on my uh, scripts and things so i can create some more videos for you on that as well so i will be coming to that soon as well so let's uh, check how we can load uh, our uh, sample schemas uh, let's say unzip mas master and we have here uh, a test db master let's go to test db master and uh, let me load it this into our mysql instance uh, this is how you can do it uh, let's the employee.sql uh, so this will be loading to our sql instance once this is loaded uh, i will show you uh, in the mysql instance uh, how many tables and where this has been created okay so this took almost a minute uh, so okay so this is done uh, let me go to my sql and show you sh show databases okay so this is okay so you see this my employees uh, database has been installed okay where this is installed it is installed inside your data directory so where is my data directory you can see it using this uh, data dir variable let's go here you can uh, come out from mysql using uh, exit or control d so let's go here okay so you see uh, employees oh sorry here employees this has been created now so all the tables uh, and their data files are mentioned here this is how uh, it has been created okay so this is how you can uh, load your sample uh, data into mysql instance and next uh, we will uh, see how we can uh, load the uh, table information uh, from your uh, mysql instance uh, to any uh, file uh, like in this example what i will be doing uh, is use employee uh, what i will be doing is to load the employee uh, table uh, employee table data into a csv file uh, show tables uh, okay I have uh, I wrote already the script uh, so I don't take you 
just waste time in writing this files okay uh, okay so this is okay so what i am going to do is uh, i am taking the first and the last name uh, into this out file result or csv files and the field will be terminated by comma and optionally enclose in uh, this uh, double quotes and lines are terminated by slash n and uh, from the employees table and I'm only taking the first 10 uh, uh, first 10 uh, rows only okay one thing to notice here uh, that uh, if uh, if I run this query this has been uh, executed successfully because uh, it didn't run into an error uh, which says uh, I will show you here cat slash etc my dot cnf if you uh, this secure file privilege uh, variable is not set in your configuration files uh, you will not be able to write the, the information to this uh, file because uh, you have to uh, provide where to store and this is where it will show you if I do this select uh, let me show you that uh, what is my value okay because I have given the value okay. you see this uh, local and slash mysql uh, don't worry it's uh, change here and it's different here it's because it says mysql and this is showing this mysql uh, 8 uh, and this this is uh, the re because the reason behind this is uh, uh, just just a minute I will show you because if I is ll user slash uh, because you see the mysql is here but uh, I have created a symbolic link because this is the original location but uh, because this is the installation of generic uh, binary tarball so uh, I have provided use a symbolic link to this location that's why uh, mysql instance is showing this location but uh, in, in reality is this location okay so you have to uh, provide uh, you have to set this uh, secure file variable and give it a location where to save the file so once you give this location uh, because this is our data directory files uh, this is our base directory and it will store uh, all the information or this variable value uh, into the employees directory database uh, into the employees database directory okay so once you see this uh, we have uh, this has been done and if I go here <coughs> okay uh, let's go to the data if I do yes uh, I'm already here uh, if you see if you see go to the employees here you see the result dot CSV is here uh, you get that uh, our first 10 rows has been uh, done okay so this is how uh, you can uh, use your into file int, uh, into output file uh, uh, option uh, to save the value of your select or in select statement uh, into a uh, CSV file or text file okay so this is how you can do that uh, now in case you want to load uh, this information uh, this uh, CSV file into a table so let's create a table for that uh, I have this uh, command here because okay so let me create a table uh, here and okay so I have this table created show tables so this table has been created uh, employees names uh, double s uh, so let's load the data I have uh, this command as well so let me show so the difference here is you say is load data in file from this file into table employees names and the fields terminated by comma operationally uh, closed by this and land terminated by slash n so this is how uh, you do do this and the 10 rows has been affected if you do is a select Steric from table. Uh, so, sorry, table. This is this table. So the information has been stored uh, because you, if you see, this was the information: Georgia, for kilo, Brazil, and Samuel. So this has been loaded into our file. So this is how you load and uh, uh, from a file, and this is how you load into a file, and uh, you how you load your sample schema in a MySQL server. Uh, so this uh, that's it for today. Uh, in the next session, uh, I will be talking about transaction, uh, different uh, isolation modes and our read phenomenon so stay tuned for, stay tuned for that uh, and uh, hope so you like this uh, tutorial please like and share and subscribe uh, thank you so much